Hi everybody, Christine here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, hello. And um, today I'm super excited as I have a parcel from the lovely Melody Susie. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so this is a two-in-one UV LED nail lamp. Okay, now let me just show you on the side. I don't think you can see that. Okay, so there's the model and the input. Five volt to a and then maximum power 3.5 watts so i just thought i'd show you that right okay so let's get it open oh i'm so excited right so inside you will find the instruction manual okay let's have a look at this so we've got it tells you the do's and the don'ts and notes before you use notes about the battery which i've just told you that so how to use which i'm going to show you let's have a look inside oh now i'm going to move it to the side and i'm going to get everything out oh it's quite heavy oh wow i didn't realize it'd be that heavy okay it doesn't feel that heavy when it's in the box how strange yeah it doesn't feel that heavy but now i've got it on the table it's heavy oh i'm so excited right okay so let me just take the packaging off right so let me show you so it's got a pink pink head to it which i really like and then it's white um this is the on and off switch okay so i'm just gonna put it here for instance so you can see so that's the on and off switch and then here is where you charge it up okay and here's the wire now this i am going to put into my ring light because it fits in there perfectly so you just plug it into there and then plug it into my ring light to charge it up which is great i don't know how long the charge will last on it um i'm not really sure about that but oh, I, I love it as you know i do a lot of full cover tips so it's perfect because you just use this lamp to flash cure right so if i turn it on now okay that's perfect it'll stay on all the time now if i want the uv now light to come on i just press the top and then i can just put my hand underneath it okay now this stays on for 60 seconds apparently which is great i like that i do actually like that you know i think some people just said they didn't like it but i actually prefer that and then what happens after 60 seconds the normal light will turn back on which is great it's perfect so i think what we're going to do is we're going to put it to one side and we are going to use it i love it i absolutely love it and it can you know you can move it around which is cool and like i said it's just touch okay so that's the uv lamp and then normal lamp uv lamp and like i said it stays on for 60 seconds and then the normal light goes on and again if you want to turn it on and off that's the button there now these holes on the top they are just where the heat comes out of those holes if it gets warm apparently and i think that's basically about it so i love how it's touch touch that is so cool i really like it so we're going to put it to one side and and i love how it bends around oh i'm, I'm going to get so much use out of this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some nails i'm going to do a fall set for you or autumn set i've got some gorgeous stickers that i really want to try now i am going to be using enel couture's mini ombre sculptured square i thought i'd do some um like you know some small ones small ones i thought i'd do some short ones for a change so i am going to be using these and i am going to be curing it on with the press on gel one two three go now gel and this i think this one's the pink yeah this is the pink one i'm going to be using 
and then we're going to use some melody susie gels and i have got some stickers that i do want to use so i'm not really sure what ones i'm going to use but anyway we'll get to that in a minute now for my nails i have i have done the prep but i'm just going to show you on one so you want to push back your cuticles okay and then I, what i do is i use this little tool and i'll just scrape off the dead skin get all that off then I like to go in with my e-nail couture buffer. This is 100, 180. I like to use the 180 side and I just take off the dead skin all around the cuticles and I like to buff off the shiny surface from my nails. And then I brush it off. Okay. And then once it's all brushed off, I like to dehydrate, prime, and then I go in with a base coat and cure, but we're not going to do that today as I have actually got peel off base coat on my nails. And this is the one I use, if you was wondering. OK, so I've got that on, so I won't need that. Now, I just wanted to say as well with the lamp, I can see that it's on green. The light is green, so I should imagine when it needs charging up, it goes red. Now, it did say, I did have a little read of the book last night, and it did say it takes two and a half hours to fully charge. And when it's fully charged, it will, the light will go back on green. So just if you was wondering that. So, yeah, I did read the booklet. Right now, let's get on. So here are all the nails all sized up and ready to go. Now, when you size them up, you want to make sure they fit from side wall to side wall okay now i'm just going to turn this light off so it's not all in your face now i want to use this one because i haven't used used it for a while and i want to use this bottle up i've just got a little cloth and a brush just in case i get any spillage that i need to wipe off now just get one of your nails and you want a tiny bit of the DIY gel in, not too much, because you don't want it all coming out. And then just put it side wall to side wall. Turn the nail over. I'm going to put the light on so it's all ready to go. And then you want to press it down, push it down where the cuticles are and press down. And then turn on the light and put under and then cure it make sure there's no air bubbles in it now i'm just going to wipe off the excess and push down firm i think you probably need to stick it under there for about 30 seconds i would have thought i love it because you can fit it straight under which is great because you know like with those little lamps that you have they're um you can never fit your nail underneath it, you know, and it's a bit of a pain, really. And then when you think it's enough, just move on to the next one. But we will give them a full cure underneath. So, again, put some on like that, side wall to side wall. Very easy. Oh, I love the smell of this stuff. I forgot how... Um, how nice it smells like i said i haven't used it for so long so push it under when it's all lined up press the light on top straight under make sure there's no air bubbles in it again 30 seconds and then just wipe off any excess turn it off move on to the next one it's funny because I can't usually see under the lamp, but now I can see under it. I can see that I've still got gel. Can you see on my thumb? <laughs> right, they've been in the big lamp for a minute to full cure. Now, what I like to do next is I like to use this one, the buffer, and I just go around the cuticles to see if I've got any spillage or anything. There was only a little bit on some of them. So I just go round, all around the cuticles just to make sure there's no spillage so i'm going to do that with all of them that's 
three as you can see there so I'm just going to finish these two off now once you're happy and gone round all the cuticles you can do this with an e-file but please be careful when you're using these that you not go too far because you don't want to take off the pink and you can take off the white so just be careful when you're buffing you know just go all around the sides and then when I've done that I'm going to just take the top off so it's nice and flat because you see you have a little bit on each one so just do that Now when you're happy, just brush it all off, okay, so they're nice and clean. Now for the design, I'm going to use my palette. I've picked out the three colours that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using 310856 and 1084 and this has come from the Melody Susie 24 gel polishes which is this kit here I love this kit it's absolutely gorgeous if you haven't seen me unboxing and doing all the swatches I'll leave the link in the description box and you can check that out so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prime these nails I don't want to layer them up with too much gel so because obviously I don't want to buff this this surface off, I think I'm going to prime them. So yeah, that is what I'm doing definitely. So give them a prime. The design what I'm doing is going here, which you will see in a minute. So just give them a prime, like I said, not too much. Now on a palette, I'm going to put my three colours down. Not too much because we're not going to need much. It's a gorgeous orange. Absolutely gorgeous. I think that will probably be enough. So a blob of three, each three. Now what you'll need, something to lean on as you can see, and I'm using a cuticle tool. This is an Enalcatol cuticle tool. It's um, one of their large ones. I can't remember what it is because it hasn't got a number on it, but it is quite big as you can see. So what I'm going to do is you, oh, you will need a little cloth to wipe. Let me get some kitchen towel. Okay, we'll start with the thumb and all you're going to do is Pick a nice ball of the colour up and just put it down and do a circle. Okay, you want to move your palette out of the way and then we're going to flash cure. It only needs about 10 seconds, okay guys, you don't want to stick it in there for too long. And then bring it back off, put the lamp on normal setting, and then pick up another colour. And again, do a circle. They don't have to be perfect. You can do it any old, any old how. <laughs> and then cure under the lamp 10 seconds again. Bring it back out, change the setting so it doesn't cure and then do your last colour and that's going to go just here. Like so. And then move the palette out of the way and flash cure again. Okay, so that's with the three colours on. As you can see, they look pretty cool. Now you can stick more... Um, more dots on if you'd like to but i don't want to take away from my stickers now i have given them a full cure so they have got a sticky layer now then don't forget actually the nails i've been they've been primed so they've got a sticky layer too now i'm going to turn this light off because i think it's a little bit too much so i absolutely love this light it's, it's absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant i love it it's so great for flash curing 
it's perfect now these are the stickers that are picked out because they are absolutely gorgeous and then i'm just going to pick out what stickers i would like and then i'm just going to lay them down guys um yeah now this is going to be the hard choice it's like what ones do i have i think i might not pick a nice big one out from my thumb probably um let's have a look this one here i like so i'm just gonna these come from Shein. i think i've already told you that haven't i now i'm just gonna peel one off and then we just got to decide where they're gonna go really and should we have this big one on my thumb yeah and then i'm just gonna press it down now i have got a tool somewhere yeah i'm just gonna press it down with this i think make sure it's all stuck down okay so i'm just going to stick a sticker on all of them and then we'll take a look right so that's with all the stickers on now i'm not going to lie they were hard to stick down i think it's because they're like got a plastic mask back into them and also they're um raised so i did have to stick a bit of base coat on and then just hold them down while they cure so they're probably going to need to put them on with base coat maybe then cure um, some of them went down but some of them were a little bit more trickier to go down so now i'm going to top coat them all with melody Susie's top coat i'm not sure if i want to mat them but i'm going to seal them in first so i'm definitely going to top coat them with the shiny one first so i'm going to top coat them all and then we'll take a look then um but yeah, I think I might have them in matte, possibly. So yeah, let me just top coat them and then I'll show you what they look like in shiny. Yeah, that's with the top coat. But do you know what? I think I'm going to put the... I am going to put the matte top coat on. And we'll have a look what they look like in matte. Because they're raised as well. They, it is hard. It really is hard to get the stickers down. I'm not going to lie. Um, but they do look so cute. Looks much better in the matte. So I'm just going to put some cuticle oil on. This is nail nails one because i need to use it up be careful not to get it on your nails as they are matte and you don't want to change that okay and this is them finished i think they turned out really cute like i said you've got to be careful of the, the stickers they don't raise up but they haven't raised up too much. Just a couple of the corners did. But yeah, so just be careful of that next time. That's my little doggy. Hold on, Timber. So yeah, they turned out really cute. Now, what do I think out of the lamp? Definite 10 out of 10. And I just would like to thank Melody Susie. Thank you for sending me the lamp in PR. It's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And I just know that I'm going to get so much use out of it. It is absolutely amazing. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I hope you I hope you like my design and what I come up with. And if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, press the notification bell. If you've got any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. I'll always get back to you. And I love you all so much. And I'll see you later. Bye.